the number one rated overall prospect with Gunnar Henderson, the number one pitching prospect in Grayson Rodriguez, the number one overall rated farm system. Combined with some veterans that have delivered well at the major league level, and it's a roster construction to envy, but ratings and rankings don't win games. Talent alone won't either. Without great leadership, the grind of a 162-game schedule erodes the playoff push away. So who do the Orioles turn to for guidance? Obviously, we signed guys for that purpose, too. Kyle Gibson, we have you know traded for Irvin here, and uh, James McCann. I mean, those guys are going to be pivotal, pivotal parts of our, of our team. So uh, we, we definitely have it. Uh, like you said, we have a lot of young guys, but I think we have just the right amount of just young guys and then also guys that have some experience, too. Adley Rutschman is a natural leader, but with only five months of big league games under his belt and a very young looking 25 years of age, how does he view that role? For me, the best way to lead is, is just by, uh, you know, example, just working as hard as I can, um, trying to do everything uh, to the best of my ability and getting the most out of every single day. And Adley has his own veteran leader from which to learn. James McCann, starting his 10th year, will back Rutschman up on the field and in the clubhouse. For me, it's just kind of watching and, and helping when I can, you know, letting, letting kind of be a sounding board for him, letting him... Um, I mean, there, there's there's no better way to learn things than through experience, but uh, you know, I'll be be right along his side to, to help him you know, any chance I can. A team also needs leaders for smaller groups. Young outfielders like Kyle Stowers have a host of vets ready to lead the way. You know, to have uh, Tony, Sed, and Hazy, um, you know, those three guys to follow after, uh, it's a perfect group, um, you know, and they they're the ones that hold me accountable and the, and the guys that I, I kind of look to for, for leadership. The Orioles seem to have found the right blend of talent to compete in the AL East. If they had the leadership to match, they'll do more than compete. They'll find a way to the postseason. Also can't forget about Brandon Hyde's leadership. I and mean, He was critical in really guiding a ship through the lean years. And last year, convincing these guys helped them to believe they could indeed win. And he has been extended for an unknown length of time, but we are assured he will be here for the long haul. Live poolside in Sarasota, Pete Gilbert, WBAL, TV 11 Sports. You had to remind us, didn't you, Pete? His legs crossed? I mean, he's I just... Mean, so we need a pool. Relaxing. We need a station pool out Probably there. Probably a little drink on the side, too, you know? Yeah. Like, Mai Tai, I don't know. Who's to say? <laughs>